this is Mario Studios, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Spa Anno Domini 1257. So in the last episode, we got fucked up by banders. They banders, banders, bandana nerners. Anyway, yeah, we got fucked up by bandits. They uh, took my horse and they took some of my food, which kind of pissed me off. And they took a lot of my goddamn money. They took about twelve thousand, or no, not twelve thousand. They took about two thousand five hundred. But yeah. We're besieging these guys. We have a slight, a very slight numbers advantage, but we should be able to win it because usually Arcades more than one. So, I mean, this should be an easy win. This should be a really easy win. And with 100 soldiers last battle, we were able to kill 200 of theirs, and they only have 103 right now. So, yeah, I'm just going to call a meeting with the commander and ask him to surrender, and of course, he's not going to surrender. So, I'm going to I'm gonna besiege him. I'm going to assault him. Wait, well, not that way. I'm not gonna assault him that way, like a, like a saltine cracker. But you know what I, you know what I mean. All right, the gate has been broken down. We gotta move the troops in. Move them in. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, we've lost a lot of guys, actually, comparatively. So, uh, I'm a little bit worried about this one because we are losing so many guys. We just need to get past this this gate area. Come on, guys, push it, push it. Like you're giving buff! Push it! Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Push it. Push it. Okay, nice, nice. I'm through. I'm through. I'm through. Sweet. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what the f- <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to get a little bit of XP from this battle. Oh, shit. We're losing. We are losing a lot of troops, guys. Fuck, this may not be the last battle. I want it to be. I'm hoping for it to be, but it may not. Shit. Shit. <sighs> and I fucking got Shreked. Oh, my God. And now I'm spawned all the way back here. Come on, guys. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, no. Oh no. Well, they aren't completely taking up the gate. So maybe we'll get through. Come on, hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. Yes, that's it. That is it. That is it. Sandwich them. Yes. Sandwich them. Fuck, I'm still seeing a shit ton of red though. Really fucking hate that red man. So yeah, anyways, on a little bit of a side note, how was your guys' Christmas slash holiday vacation? Let me know in the comments below. You know, I'm going back to school this Monday, so yeah. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, I'll probably already be back in school, but yeah. Let me know in the comments below how your vacation was, if you're in school, or what did you do for your weekend, you know. And hey, we won the battle with eight guys to spare. And we still have one ally. I'm really not sure where the fuck those guys are coming from. But hey, if they want to fight for us, they can. 15 renown, that, that is very, very nice actually. And it looks like we have a fair bit of prisoners here to go ahead and recruit into our army, which we are going to do, of course, as always. I would like to get that other village, depending on how much more money we have left over from this battle, we'll try and take that other um, castle. I said village, but I meant castle. And then, if we manage to do that, then Ireland will be no more. They'll be completely wiped off the map. And we actually have a company, max company size, of 170 troops, which is really good, actually. That's not too bad. And we still don't have our leadership maxed out. And we have a relatively low amount of renown. Which is the other thing. If you are not aware, renown actually... Um, yeah, you can perform upgrading. But yeah, renown actually gives you more, uh, like a bigger company size. So the more renown you have, the more troops you can have. And we'll go ahead and grab that. So we finally have a sword to work with now. And I think this is pretty much how we were looking previously, for the most part. 
And we got a stubborn horse there, which is actually pretty fast. It doesn't have a lot of armor, but it is, it is pretty fast. Which I tend to go for the more faster horses. That's just my preference. I, I really don't like slow uh, armored horses. I just prefer fast. Yeah. There we go. There's that. Now, I don't know if this mod has that shit enabled with, like, all of the, the sliders. I don't know if it does. Anyways... You now possess land in your name, without being tied to any kingdom. This makes you a monarch in your own right, with your court temporarily located at Tullyhoku Fort. However, the other kings in Europe will at first consider you a threat, for if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is called into question. You may find it desirable at this time to pledge yourself to an existing kingdom. If you want to continue as a sovereign monarch, then your first priority should be to establish an independent right to rule. You can establish your right to rule through several means. Marrying into a highborn family, which we are kind of doing. We have a little bit of a court going, which I would actually like to visit my lady after this. Yeah, we definitely like to do that. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, uh, you can marry into a highborn family. You can recruit new lords, govern your lands, treat other kings, or dispatch your companions on missions, which is uh, quite a popular one among my among myself. Uh, at any rate, your first step should be to appoint a chief minister from among your companions to handle the affairs of the state. Different companions have different capabilities. You may appoint new ministers from time to time. You may also change the location of your court by speaking to the minister. Don't forget to change your kingdom's religion through your minister. So I think I'm just going to go with Vilgertus here, actually. And our kingdom. Actually, I'm not sure what I want to name it this time around. If you have a suggestion for the name of our kingdom, then go ahead, write it in the comments, because I'm actually blank for names right now. I'm thinking of doing the new Irish Republic, or the new, uh, this isn't, we're not really a republic, though. <laughs> we really are. Um, the new Irish, I've, yeah, new Irish Irish Republic. I, I I think I'm just gonna go with that for now. Or maybe who? Maybe the new the Irish. Maybe we could be like communists. <laughs> communists in the 12th century. We could be like the the Workers Union of Ireland. Oh shit! I spelled Union wrong. No, I don't think that really goes in. I think I think we're gonna go role play friendly here. So yeah, we'll just do the new Irish Republic. Even though all things considered, once again, we aren't really a republic, but we're gonna fucking name ourselves that. <laughs> Not like anybody's done that before, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's recruit all of the lances. 131 uh, party size. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, we lost one of our companions. Well, shit. We'll have to hire him back. Um, can we hire companions here? Eh, no, I don't think we can. Invite nobles to my court. Is this where I can hire lords? Because I kind of actually need some of those. Holy shit, yo. Nice legs, man. You look fucking sexy as shit. Look at those, dude. Look at those. <laughs> and your feet go through the floor. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. All right, so John, Peter, and Joseph. We will talk to Joseph here. Greetings, your lordship. Perhaps you have called me here because you like to me to represent you in the battle? Yes, I would. I would like you to... What? 300? What the fuck? Is that how much it costs? Oh yeah, that is how much it costs. Excellent day. I require 300 gold coins as compensation for my family while I am away. Yes, very well. So I think... Uh, I don't know if these guys are safe to go ahead and uh, recruit as, as, as full-on lords. I don't know if that would make people pissed off at me. I think these guys have the credentials to be lords, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, here I want to actually build a messenger tower because we really don't have that much use for a prison thingy because we're just going to be releasing all the lords that we get. So yeah, um, let's go to the lords hall as well. How much, how much money do we have? Okay, we have a decent bit, but we haven't sold any of our plunders, which actually, oh, yeah, we can't sell them here. Um, go back to the lords hall. Yes, 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 yes. And we have a bunch of ladies here. Wow. Um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna let all these ladies go. Yeah, just 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 let them go. I don't I don't really care. I don't I don't care about the money, man. Um, let's see here. I wish to hire a new staff member. We're gonna hire a constable and a chamberlain. Now, I don't believe in this mod, these guys really cost all that much. Although, in other mods, you know, the staff members do cost quite an extensive amount. But yeah, there's that. Um, I would like here to go to visit my lady, of course, uh, who's at Tulaus. So, I think we can actually do that. First of all, I'd like to, like, go over to one of these British towns. And, oh, yeah. Ooh, um, almost forgot to place troops and our garrison. Yeah, that would have been a... Wait, trade prisoners? No. No, 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 no. Take control of the garrison. Yeah, well, there's not any in garrison, so I don't really give a shit. Um, yeah. Let's just go ahead and assign a bunch of these guys. I'm going to assign, actually, the majority of my army because... Um, yeah. I'm just going to assign the majority of my army because... We can, uh, we can just get more troops on our way to Tulaus. And we really shouldn't be in that much danger on the way to Tulaus anyways. I also noticed that the, uh, the Irish island, or Ireland, <laughs> rather, uh, is filled with fucking bandits. Like, there are bandits everywhere, so we might not be that prosperous, uh, prosperous, you know, in the beginning here, because we're gonna be fucking, our, our caravans are gonna be raided, so, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna bring up the sliders. I thought this mod had sliders, but maybe it'll bring them up soon. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, oh, we can't talk to Peter. Oh yeah, that's because we're in the garrison menu. My bad. So yeah, we'll go back. We'll, we'll get out of that. Uh, let's head over to Serling, actually. And, ooh, we just paid our shit. And we paid a thousand dollars to liquidate a debt. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were <laughs> we were behind a little bit before, um, and we're still behind. But, yeah, uh, staff doesn't really cost that much to hire those two extra guys. So, yeah, we're just going to keep them. And as you can see, we're already making profit, although it isn't that much. It is only a castle and a village, after all, and I did fuck up that village. But, uh, yeah, we are making some money in rents now. Very tiny amount, though. Alrighty. Anyways, here I'd like to go ahead and just sell off my shit. There we go. And uh, we can actually just purchase a little bit more green. Actually, we'll take a fish as well. Because we don't have any fish. So yeah, there we go. Um, we actually don't have a lot of money left. So um, yeah, this guy wants us to attack someone. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I don't know why they want us to keep attacking Amir. Like, Amir has a fucking hit out on him, dude. Everyone wants him dead. All the fucking guildmasters want him dead. So yeah, we are poor ass niggas now. So uh oh shit, no. Oh shit, no, no, no. Okay, we're faster. We're faster. Ah, yes. Here it is. We can choose our flag. I'm actually tempted to go with this one cuz it's not a bad flag. It's actually a very very nice flag and I, I do like it. Um Oh, the leg. The chicken leg. Uh oh. We could go with the boar. Actually, yeah. I might go with the boar. Let's let's take a look through everything else though first. Uh, that one's pretty badass, but... Huh. Oh, the chicken! Or the person being eaten by a dragon? I think I actually, yeah, let's go with the chicken, because I kind of like that. Or the rooster, my bad. Or a chicken, maybe it's a chicken, I don't fucking know. What is the difference between a rooster and a chicken? Like, what the fuck? I know the roosters are like, a da 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 and shit like that, but like, what, what's the difference? Uh, cattle herd. Holy shit, he's gonna pay us 5k to transfer this cattle to Jerusalem. Yes, thank you. I will fucking take that. That is, that is very, very worth it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and head to... How much money? Okay, we, we actually... Go back, go back, go back. Oh, we can't hire? There's no Lance, Lance guys for recruitment? Yeah, I'm gonna hire another company, head over to Tulaus, and then we'll make our way to Jerusalem. No mercenary companies? No, one local one is available, but I guess I'm, I'm too poor. Um, yeah, I'm too poor. Okay, great. 
Uh, let's just visit Our Lady then. In Tulaus. Hopefully, nothing comes in our way, because our army is actually really, really fucking small. How's our morale? Actually, we can hire some... Some of our prisoners. Um, it's going to lower morale significantly, but we can do it nonetheless. Uh, take an action. No, no one accepts the offer. Well, fuck you guys, then. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was not going to work. I don't know if you lose honor for doing that. For making them join your army. Or offering them to join your army. I really don't know if you lose honor. I don't think you would. Oh my god. Take take the money. It's really... It's, it's not worth it right now, man. I don't have a fucking army, so... Yeah, not worth it. Actually, I probably could have defeated that army. I shouldn't have let him bitch me, but... I don't want to risk it. I love, I, I love how they didn't add bridges to this. Instead, they just made a fucking little land connection. I, I'm just kidding, though. Even though... Well, I'm not kidding about that, but yeah. I love the mod. That's what I'm trying to fucking say. I love the mod. Even though I bash it, I freaking love it. But that's the thing, as well. Like, people think if you bash something, that means you hate it, but that really isn't the case. You can love something and still bash it. Just because you bash it doesn't mean that, like, necessarily you don't like it. But, you know, it, it just means that you want the game to be more suitable. And why the fuck is this this, this bitch not here? She was last at Tulaus, and she ain't here. What's her name? I, I, Lady Lorette. I, I forgot her name. Uh, yeah, let's let's go to the castle and ask where Lady Lorette is. Oh, okay. And there's no one there to uh, tell me. Perfect. Um, let's go up to Not. Which actually was brought to my attention through my AP Euro class that uh, it's not Nantes. It's, it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. Head over to Not. Yeah, hopefully no one attacks that castle that we just obtained in Ireland while we're away. Um, so I don't know why I just started to recruit guys. But yeah, let's see if there's someone here we can talk to. Okay, yes, there's a lady. Um, I'd like to know the location of Lady Lorette. She's in Clermont. Okay. I think that's on the uh, eastern border here. Claremont, yes. Nice. Yeah, so we'll head over to Claremont. I think we're actually going to be forming the strongest relationship with France. Because quite a few of their towns actually like me. And quite a few of their lords like me as well. Because we were a part of their kingdom. Although the king fucking hates me because I left him. But, uh, yeah, that's besides the point. Um, why can't we not? We can't visit our lady? Lady Lorette? No? Can we just talk to her like this? Lady Flory. Wait, she's not fucking here. Where is she? She's at... Oh my god. She's back at Tulaus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we just went in a circle. What the... <laughs> what the heck? I swear, they were all in on a freaking troll, man. They were all in on it. Watch her leave. She better not. Okay, there we go. We can visit her. Thank the lordy lordy. Thank him. Alrighty. Hello, Lorette. Ooh, she likes that. Um, what is this? I must tell you there's another lord who has been paying me attentions, although I cannot abide him. I fear he has designs on me and may try to force me to wed against my wills. Hey! That's not gonna fucking happen. Hughes? Hughes? Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna challenge him. That, that shit does not happen, alright? Nobody fucks with my bitch on the side. That does not happen! Anyways, um... Interest to me... Wait, what is this? Sir, it is comforting to hear that your intentions towards me are honorable, but perhaps we should take the time to allow our affections for each other to grow a little strong before making any decision. Okay. Oh, no, wait, I persuaded her? No, 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 I don't want to do that. I just, let's just read your fucking poetry. Actually, 
Let, let's persuade her. Let's see. Wait, what did that say? What did that say? Jesus, I need to read this shit more. Um, Relation required for automatic success. Okay, so let's, let's not do that then. Wait, can we not? Wait, we can't, we can't read her a poem? Ah, what? Okay. Wait, this is, oh, okay, she's a girl. She looked like a guy. Damn, look at that fucking forehead, though. Jesus. Ah, you do you, though, nurse. You do you. <laughs> Anyways, yo, I'm gonna end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out, and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!